Hey guys, how's it going? I'm going to switch it up today. I had a few requests just to do a very be basic beginner guitar lesson. Um, I do teach like kids and around and stuff like that as well, so I'm used to like beginners. <laughs> Most often when people start learning, it, uh, like if you, if you aren't learning for like your own reasons, like if somebody else is being like, oh, learn this for a recital or uh, for a recital or anything like that, like, you're not really going to get that good at it. Like, you have to want to actually play to play. Like, if you ever feel like you're, like, having to, like, or you're not feeling like playing guitar, but somebody told you you had to, like, study it and you had to do, you had to go to music school and you had to do all that stuff, you don't. You do what you want to do and you will wind up with the result you want. So if you're here to learn just one song for somebody, uh, whatever your reasoning is, figure out what your reason for playing is and then you can you can probably achieve that goal. So if you want to just learn one song, like I do a bunch of specific songs, but uh, you could, but you'll probably need at least some basic knowledge to start because you need to know some basics to be able to get to the, to the point that we're getting at. <laughs> All right. I am not explaining this very well. Um, you know, uh, it's, it's morning. I haven't even had coffee yet. So I'm just going to basically run it down like I would for a kid. <laughs> so, if you want to learn two chords right now, take your index finger, not chords, a whole, a whole set of chords is a bunch of fingers that are being pushed down on different strings close together. A chord is like an A, there's only like eight chords, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And then it reverts back but in a higher pitch. And then we go back to like A minor. B minor, C minor, G, and that's it. So you don't have past G, there's no other chord letters that are a chord. So if you ever see it on paper with like the tabs and stuff, um, if there's letters on there, it's, it's just referring to the shape of your fingers. A guitar tab would have just individual, which note are you plucking? Are you hitting it there? Are you putting your finger down on the third fret and plucking it up here? Each one of these is a fret, and so essentially you'll be making a different noise wherever you move up and down here. You don't really need to know what each chord name is to be able to make sound. Like you could put your fingers up here and just make noises. And, and if the sound sounds good, do that sound again and then play around with it somewhere else till that sound, uh, sound actually sounds good and then go back up to that one and go back and forth and it will actually sound great. So right here, I'll show, I'll zoom in, and we'll just do it real fast. If you've never played a chord in your life, I will have the picture up above, and I will show you in close how to how to play two chords and, and to switch between those two chords. So let's do it. All right. So for this, the two chords we're using are probably the two easiest. Oh, adjust it here. So these are probably the two easiest chords that you could just auto do. You have, you need two fingers to do this. Um, I would probably use these two because they might be the, the two anchoring fingers. It's just easier if you're starting. It doesn't matter which, which fingers you're using. If you want to use these two, you can. You take your index finger, you put it on the second fret. So each bar up here is a fret. At the end of the bar, that's, that's, where, the, that's where the fret. So this is the first, this is the second, this is the third. You want your fingers generally to be as close to the bar as you can because it holds the, the pressure on the strings down easier. So it makes it easier on your fingers. If, you, if you're pushing up too, towards, too much towards the back of the fret, it will not sound good. It'll, it'll, it won't ring out properly and it will hurt your fingers. Which your fingers are going to hurt either way quite a bit. So you have to really want to play <laughs> and, and live through the pain to actually play. So anyways, we'll just uh, we'll play two, two, two uh, chords here. I'll have them up above two, so you can see. So you just have the either, or even, you, yeah, you could use your index finger and, and your middle finger. Right here on the uh, second fret, second string down from the top, and third string down from the top. And then you take your pick, and just pluck down. But don't pluck above wherever your fingers are. It helps for the sound. So I could do it that way, but it's not going to sound as good as if I just... Just like that, and you have your E minor, I think it is. Or is that? No, that's an E minor, yes. So you have your E minor, which is a key chord. You use it in a lot of songs. 
and quite easily you, you take both fingers and you move them down one string each so your index finger that one there is on your th uh, second fret uh, third third string down from the top and that and that middle finger is going to be on your fourth one down so it's the exact same thing that to that and you have two awesome sounds that is an a seventh i think a full a would actually be all three fingers on all of these but it really hurts your fingers if you're just learning to play so if you want to fake it and just make it easier only use two fingers if you're playing an a for now until your fingers get tough enough and, and you can manage a full on A or you can do it with a bar but if you're a beginner it's it's too hard on the fingers because you don't know your angles yet so essentially yeah if you just want two two chords like I'm just going back and forth and you're wondering what am I doing with this to make it sound so good not really much I could do it real slow for you a little bit. But then if, I, if once I can do it slowly, then I'll just go a little bit faster, so. So I go faster. And the faster you go, the better you sound. <laughs> Generally speaking, like with music, not like, not always. If you slow down and speed up, that's what makes really good music. Is like that's why your chorus is is gonna be faster or slower than the main verses. That's what, that's how we can tell what a chorus is and what a verse is. Is when does the song like, like because you know choruses tend to like recite, uh, repeat themselves, but they're super catchy, versus verses which have a lot of information in them but aren't as uh, quite usually as catchy as the chorus is. Anywho, it's a lot of talking. I'm sort of rambling because I'm just feeling nervous because it's on YouTube. It's, it's different than actually being in person and being able to show show all the parts of the guitar and explain all that. Um, this is just going to be the first part of a whole series because people have been asking me and it made me feel uncomfortable wanting to like to do it in like in a public fashion like that because I don't want to like uh, like Mis give misinformation, especially if it's a very beginner lesson. Like, cause if you start it off on the wrong foot, it's not going to go well for you, and you won't want to play guitar. So take everything I say with a grain of salt. Um, if I am helping you in any way, let me know. But I'll be getting further into a beginner. Like, I might do like uh, I don't know, maybe eight videos, something like that. Just trying to focus on the basics, like setting your goal and what you. If you can set your goal, you can actually like learn anything. Like hey, you don't need any, anyone else to tell you what to do or how to do it. But if you if you have your goal and you want it that hard, that much, you you'll, you'll get to it. It's just uh, think about the reasons for what you want to do, and you, you'll find a way to do it. Anyways, guys, I am still rambling. <laughs> I hope you have a great day. I'm gonna go drink some coffee because I definitely need it. Uh, <laughs> Anyways, take her easy. It's nice and sunny out today. I got some stuff to do, so.